I'm going to uncover three most important reasons why women over 45 gain weight. But knowing why is not good enough. You need to know how to fix that, right? So what you've been doing before for your health doesn't work anymore. You eat clean most of the time. You exercise, but the number on the scale is not going down. So besides annoying hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, craving carbs, there's another not pleasant um, side effect of perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause, and it is weight gain. I am Lily, registered holistic nutritionist and fitness coach specifically for women over 40. Why we gain weight when we are over 45? But it's a magical number or something? Ah, well, it's not about the number. It's about hormones. Yes, our hormones changing when we are older. We will talk about how not having menstruation will contribute to weight gain. Study shows that over 75% of menopausal women will involuntarily, involuntarily gain weight. So here is what happens. Before menopause, during the first 10 to 14 days of menstrual cycle, the body uses around 300 calories for ovulation. When you're in menopause, when your body stops producing estrogen uh, naturally or because of the surgery, surgical procedure, so you don't have period. You're not menstruating anymore. Guess what? 300 calories burn missing. So let's calculate how it happens. So let's say for you were burning uh, before 300 calories a day for up to 14 days. So 300 calories multiplied by seven, seven days in a week equals 2,100 calories. Then you multiply by two weeks. The result is 4,200 calories. Or approximately one and a half pounds of fat gaining in a month. Let's translate that to a year. It is around 20 plus pounds of pure fat. A poor woman over 45 can gain in a year, still eating the same diet and still having the same fitness. Now, how can we fix this part. So here's a couple of things I would recommend. How can we deal with 300 calories? You can divide them by half, 150, 150, and subtract 150 from your diet and increase 150 to your fitness, which means 150 calories probably a brisk walk for 30 minutes every day. Okay, so I do not recommend putting all 300 calories in your fitness, especially when you're over 50. It's too much stress unless you're really fit or subtracting 300 calories from your diet. If you're really overeating and you're eating a lot of junk, listen, your first thing to do is start eating not junk. Right? So it, it depend, depends where you are in your journey. You need to know these numbers. After the age of 20, women start losing muscles and pretty fast. Every year, muscle mass going down and down and down. I know it's pretty scary. Why should we even care about muscles really and truly 
if you're not a bodybuilder, right? Because muscles are metabolically active tissues, which means they require energy to sustain, to maintain those muscles or recover even while you are sleeping. And that is huge contribution to burning fat. Your body burns six calories per hour for one pound of muscle per hour six calories per hour for one pound of muscle compared to two calories per hour for one pound of fat so on average one pound of muscles will burn within one day 24 hours an extra 96 calories in comparison to fat tissues now think about a woman over 50 if she will do strength training two to three times a week so that woman can build up to five pounds of muscles in three months so five pounds of muscles multiplied by 96 calories so let's say approximately 100 calories will give you 500 extra calorie burn a day that's incredible don't you think so yeah so but that's not the only why uh, we need building muscles obviously you know it's uh, building muscles improving uh, supporting our joints right. and if you have enough muscles muscle mass your bone density improving tremendously mm -hmm. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your fitness. You need to start building muscle. Stop doing this freaking cardio running like a crazy monkey, okay? Don't do that. Don't do you. Actually, it's not good for if you're overweight or even obese to start running. And really and truly for how long you're going to run, right? So stop wasting your muscle. By running, you're wasting your muscle, including your heart, which is a muscle, right? So what to do? Go for a power walk or go for a walk, whatever you can do, and strength training, period. Okay? Blame those hormones. Ghrelin and leptin during menopause we produce more of a hunger hormone called ghrelin when ghrelin is high we we feel hungrier if that's not enough during menopause we produce less leptin and that's not good too leptin helps us feel full after after eating which can lead to overeating so more ghrelin, less leptin, equal increased hunger and decreased feeling of fullness. And that is, my friend, a huge, huge problem that contribute to weight gain. How can we stabilize these two hormones? We need to eat the right food for breakfast. That food can help maintain muscle mass not just any breakfast it will maintain the mass, muscle mass it will balance a level of levels of leptin and ghrelin will help you lose weight and reduce that belly fat so we need food that foods that help to increase metabolic rate so increase our metabolism will fill you up that you won't get hungry in one hour and keep you full fuller longer that's the whole formula let's have a those two foods i'm going to give you the first one is protein very important protein is very important for us women over 45 i believe that protein is a must to eat uh, at least for breakfast every morning protein helps you stay uh, increase slightly your metabolism it gives your muscles the amino acids those little building blocks uh, that will heal the body rejuvenate cells and do its job 
Okay, so protein also will keep you feeling fuller longer, which will keep the hunger hormone ghrelin low. That's what we want. Another benefit of consuming protein is to help to reduce bone loss that can happen very fast during aging time. Okay, so which food foods are high in protein? Meat, seafood, eggs, uh, beans and lentils for vegan and vegetarians, Greek yogurt. There is apparently Greek yogurt from uh, coconut. Now, the second one uh, is very important. It's fiber. You need to start incorporating fiber in your diet intentionally. And don't tell me, oh, I eat salad. I eat a lot of fiber. Yeah, you go and Google how much fiber is in your vegetables that you put in, in, in your salad. So for women over 45, I would recommend go over 35 grams of fiber. Me personally, I, I'm consuming 45 grams of fiber because fiber, it's not only about the weight loss. Uh, it's about improving your digestive system. If you improve digestive system, you digest food better because you could be eating this amazing diet. And if you're not digesting properly, those nutrients are not getting inside your body. So, and the body is going to be malnutrition. And the body, if it's malnutrition because the nutrients not getting inside your bloodstream and distributing to all cells uh, of your body that you made of, it's a huge, huge problem. The body will go in a starvation mode and think, oh my goodness, I don't have any nutrients, so I need to get nutrients quick. And usually what happens, the body, you will start craving food that the body can actually uh, have ability to e easy to digest, like carbs, and especially simple carbs. You got the idea? So for that reason, I recommend um, take additional fiber like psyllium husk, flaxseed. Flaxseed, absolutely amazing for you because it, it has omega-3, it has anti-inflammatory inflammatory, uh, property, it actually balances uh, hormone hormones in your body. It's good for you. Okay, so now the information is good to know, but implementation is even more important. I want you to take action and I want you to take action today.